So I'm just going to uh, edit undo that back to the beginning to my base image. If you don't uh, want to do it that way, you can do control Z and hold it down. <clears throat> or you can also go to file and there's also this choice of revert, which means it will take it back to the original picture that it started with and delete everything that you've done so far, which is perfect. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start by cloning the background that's right here onto this side of this lovely lady's face. And so in order to do that, I've got my brush, I've got my size, they're all still ex pretty much exactly the same as where I started from. I need to hold down control and I get those sniper crosshairs and I'm going to click one time and say that is where I want to copy from, the lovely background. And then as I click and drag straight down, you'll see that it's taking the background and putting it where I'm dragging it to. Okay, and you might not think that this is that amazing of a thing at first, but you can see that huge parts of her face are disappearing. Now, you'll also see that it's remembering what was there before, and so now it's got part of her hood is actually being copied over, which is sort of a bizarre thing, you would think, that since you can't see it anymore, the computer can't see it anymore. But the way the clone tool works is, if it can see it from before it started cloning, then it will continue doing so. Very strange. If you keep right on going, you'll actually put her face way over here again, which is not at all what we wanted. So I'm going to control Z that and just start again. Now, I don't want to go too close over this side either, because if I go over here, then I start getting this dude's ears and that's not good. Now I'm going to cheat this time. Instead of actually undoing that, I'm just going to go and grab some good, oh, and grab some good area from up here and just put it down. Oh, I might even grab this area over here, put it over here, and then just continue working my way over. Now you can see two things are happening here. One is it's sort of blurring itself out. I've taken the same area too much and now there's nothing left here. So I really didn't want to do that. I still want all my lovely texture. And so I'm just going to grab this and continue with all the lovely snowflakes, which texture my image so nicely. Okay. And I'm just going to click, maybe change it over here a little bit. Grab a little bit more. Good. And then maybe bring it over here. I still want all these lovely snowflakes to be showing up as I go along, but I don't want them to be in any kind of consistent pattern. I want them to be fresh and interesting. So you can see here, I've still got some snowflakes. Now the next part is I'm going to click from this area on this side and bring it over coming this way. So this time I'm going to just shoot straight across. Okay, and just continue going straight across so that you can see I'm just doing a click and drag, click and drag, click and, oh, that's a fail. Control Z that. So let's try this again. Okay. And I'll move this around so I get a different piece of snow this time in a different location. Actually, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down here and put this part around it as well. Oh, too, too much of his shoulder off that time. Okay. Now what you can see is that what we didn't anticipate was that the background here and the background here are actually totally different colors with different textures and different amounts of snow. So we're going to deal with that in just a second. But first, how do we zoom in? to this area right here. Well, the first thing is using the plus sign, we've zoomed in. But the other thing is we want to change the brush. Well, I can change it way bigger. That's kind of silly. But if I triple click on there or double click and mess around with it, I'm going to type in five and press enter on my keyboard. And now you can see that I've got a nice small size for dealing with. Maybe you decide that eight is a better size for you. That's fine. 
okay but we definitely want to make sure that we're adding some texture we want to add some snowflakes we don't want to just be adding plain boring color we want to add some texture to it that's the whole power of the clone tool okay so go ahead work on that and come back and see me in just a second when you're all done